performance from a Durham point of view today and uh, back up to second in the group as well. Yeah, thank you very much, much appreciated. Yeah, um, great day. Uh, just, just really good to get another win under the belt, I think, which is really crucial at this time in the tournament. When you came in, 171 for six, it looked like 250 might be a decent score, but you got your heads down, you and Luke Denethi, and put a cracking partnership together, 156 for the seventh wicket. Yeah, it was, um, it was tough to get in, to be fair. Um, struggled, struggled at first to get the ball away, um, but I just know with, um, with our weaker tail um, and taking Luke out of that, you know, we, we, it's really crucial wickets in hand for the last 10, which is what I kept in mind. Um, luckily, you know, things just went our way. A um, couple of drop catches and, you know, Luke batted beautifully um, and, you know, just really showed what, what he can do um, for, for a young player. So all credit to him. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was good to get 300 plus, I think, um, when we were looking down the barrel at 250, I think. But yeah, yeah no, it was good. I think you'd had a 99 before for Kent, hadn't you? But yes. you hadn't got over the line for 100. You managed to get there with a penultimate ball of the innings today, so that must have been quite a relief for you to get that 100 on the board. Yeah, it's um, been a long time coming. Um, but no, I, I appreciate it. Uh, the, the 100 meant a lot today um, from, from a lot of angles, but no, I was, I was just I was just happy to, to get a competitive total on the, on the board for Durham because, uh, you know, we've had a good campaign so far um, and hopefully hopefully we can take it take it forward from here on in. The uh, 327 you got was the highest score by Durham against Lancashire, also the highest score on a one day on this ground okay. and your partnership 156 for the seventh wicket, the best seventh wicket stand for Durham and the best by anybody against Lancashire as well so a number of records falling today. That's really, I mean, really positive. Um, you know, Records are meant to be broken, which is which is always exciting. Um, but no, just glad, really glad we got the win. That was that was that was the main thing. Kept it tight with the ball as well. I mean, 87 runs is uh, quite comprehensive in the end. But another word for Luke Denethi, four wickets for him. He came in and did really well, and you know, actually collapsed at the end there, didn't he? Yeah, well, he's he's just really showing his class at the moment. Um, like I said earlier, just just as a young player coming into the side. Um, he's really putting his hand up, um, and yeah, he's, he's he's doing a fantastic job for for us at the moment, and hopefully, hopefully that continues, and uh, you know, into the next three games, and hopefully into the quarter semis and finals. So there's a lot to play for going into those three games. First up against Essex on Sunday at Chester Street, the first time you've played on the side this year in the One Day Cup. Second against first, that's going to be quite a juicy encounter. Yeah, um, I think you know Essex Essex haven't lost a lot of players. Um, so they've they've managed to keep keep a lot of their kind of uh, you know set up quite quite intact. Um, so you know they they are a very good side as they've shown in Red Bull cricket too. So you know it'd be it'd be a really good it'd be a really good contest come Sunday and uh, hopefully we can get the W there too. Be nice to beat them after two defeats in the county championship as well. Yeah, we we definitely owe them one, um, well to say the least. Um, but yeah, just 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 be good. Uh, Cross, cross each bridge as it comes, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get the W at the end of the day.